good. Hello? Now, if you clicked on this video and all you want to see is the grail, I'm going to be honest, boys, skip to the end. We got a little story time first. Now, listen, this package was supposed to be here in time for my dunk collection. USPS was supposed to have this package to my house on Monday. I was in the living room recording my dunk collection when the mailman came up to the door, doesn't knock, just leaves a note right away. We got your ass on camera. Then I try to schedule a redelivery for the next day. The package doesn't show up. I'm getting all kinds of scared because of what's in this box. After going to three different USPSs, I finally track down where this package is at. I go to the post office and they don't want to give me my package because it's made out to Raz. I said to the guy, I literally said to the guy, name one person you know named Raz. The guy takes my package and walks into the back. Now, I'm gonna be honest, boys. You might see me in the next couple days with a headline, Florida man. Why? Because I stole this package from USPS. I'm not, I'm not kidding. So I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for that, but they left it on the counter. It's my package and they didn't want to give it to me. They were literally like, well, you can schedule another delivery now that you're here with the package. Meanwhile, I'm looking at the package, bro. That lady walked in the back. I grabbed the box. I ripped the sneaker box out of the package. I left the package on the counter and I walked out. This is not how I was expecting to start this video. Now, all jokes aside though, we did secure the bag. We got a little blue dunk box. I wonder what's inside. I wonder if my camera's died. This is a pair I've wanted for a long, long time. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You already know what the shoe is. You clicked on the video. Ladies and gentlemen, from 2010, we have the 420 Skunk Dunk. Skunk Dunk? This shoe was literally top three for me. You guys must feel like I say that for every shoe. Now I got this shoe off grailed. The initial asking price was 1600. I ended up talking them down to $1,000. This fucking fly is gonna drive me insane. I will fucking kill you. Sorry, just uh, just had a little mental breakdown. I paid $1,000, talked them down from 16 1600 not bad now this shoe was supposedly worn twice there's no creasing in the shoe that i can see the toe box looks great thank god this shoe is not fake i was definitely nervous about that i haven't done too much shopping on grailed but they are authenticity guaranteed if i get the shoe and it comes in and it's fake i get my full money back the stitching looks great there's no flaws that stand out to me the one thing that got me salty i'm not gonna lie it came with the purple laces but they were replacement laces and he didn't mention that in the listing i can't really be mad because i got such a great deal but but I'm on to you, buddy. I'm also ecstatic that I got this pair in used because I can rock them everywhere. And I'm going to wear this shoe a lot. My dunks that are used literally look like they're brand new from how clean I keep them. And I will definitely be rocking these bad boys. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I actually have no clue what to say. I'm just in disbelief that I actually have it. It's in hand. This shoe came out in 2010, man. I think I literally graduated eighth grade in 2010. Looking at my grail list, like what's next? Oh my God. Off the dome, a couple pairs that I'm definitely going to be looking for now are the Ferris Bueller's. I really want the Tauntauns. I'm a big Star Wars nerd. The Oompa Loompas would be fire. The Nasty Boys would be fire. A pest control guy coming and to kill these flies would be fire. Oh, oh my God, I'm an animal. Let's fucking go, baby. Look at this shit. Can you even see it? Let this be a fucking symbol to all of you. Bitch, I can't believe I just killed that fly. What are you made of? Made me lose my whole train of thought. Size 11, man. I need sting waters and I need golf 58s. And if one of you doesn't slide in my DMs and give me a fucking deal, I'm going to lose it. Bro, I just killed your boy. I just killed what you want. Wait for this motherfucker to leave. No way. You guys aren't even going to believe me. What is this shoe made of? I just killed another one. Dude, I'm a, I'm a demon. All right, I got to go inside. Mom, dad, if you guys are watching this, I know maybe spending $1,000 wasn't the best idea. Don't worry. I sold a couple pairs to make up for it. I sold my all black Yeezy 350s that I got for like $300 for like $560 on GOAT. That's half the price of this shoe. That's not bad. And already I could sell this shoe for like $1,600 to two grand. I guarantee you go to any sneaker store and they have skunks that are in decent shape. You're paying anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. I'm going to do my best to keep you guys posted on what pairs I sell, what pairs I move, just so you can get a realistic idea of how I get all these shoes. I'm not out here dropping racks on racks on racks. You know, you hold pairs, they go up in value, you sell them, and then you get better pairs. Welcome to the game, baby. I love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are new. I hope you guys enjoyed my little USPS story. FBI, if you're watching this, you got scammed, bro. I love you guys. Have a great day.